Hello everyone and welcome back to this new upload here on the channel of Game Time Life. Now in this video I'm going to be showing you one more jersey outfit and I promise you after doing this jersey outfit I will come up with something a little bit different for you guys but I enjoy making these outfits a lot and I really love to do this so that's why I'm bringing up one more jersey outfit. Now this outfit is actually a lot easier to do. Uh, we need to use the same glitches, but with the two combos glitch, we only have to use it one time. And we also have to merge in Crooked Cop only one time. So this outfit takes a lot less time to make and um, it's still looking very modded and very nice. So this outfit has purple and yellow items. It has a purple jogger, a purple jersey, a black fest shirt, yellow bow tie. Um, purple and yellow race gloves and black and yellow trance shoes So let's go straight into the tutorial So the first glitch that we need to do will be the outfit transfer glitch so we can create some components to transfer over the outfit If you do not know what the outfit transfer glitch is you're basically creating some components and if you transfer them over They will turn into items Now with this glitch you have to delete your second character and all your current outfits on the mail will be deleted so if you have one outfit on your male character that you really want to keep, just leave that outfit on and then just proceed with the glitch. So the full tutorial on this glitch will be linked in the description box down below if you do not know how it works and everything. So we're going to be creating the components on the second newly created female character. So we're going to be creating two outfits and we're going to be saving it on both slot number 3 and slot number 4. So the first outfit will basically have the yellow bow tie and the second outfit will have the black vest shirt and using these items we can just merge the whole outfit together and make it one full look. So let's start with the components. So we're going to be starting off in the top section and you want to put on the tops in the order that I'm telling you. So if you just simply put on the sports jacket you cannot put on the white vest shirt underneath. So what you want to do first is just go over to the fitted suit jackets and you want to apply any fitted suit jacket. So I just applied the white boating blazer. Now as soon as you've purchased that you want to go into the suit jackets and put on the contrast blazer. And once you have that on you first of all want to go into the accessories. Go into the ties and put on the 10 straight tie which will be the yellow bow tie components. And then for gloves, you want to put on the light woodland tactical gloves. Now you want to return back into the top section. And if you go to the sports jackets, you can now just put on the sea green puffer jackets and the fest shirt and the um, bow tie will still stay on or the tie. So then you want to go into the pants, go into the sports pants and put on the spotted muscle pants. And for shoes, you want to go into the boots and put on the black slack boots. Now as soon as you've got your outfit ready like this, make sure that you save it on outfit slot number 3. We need to keep slot number 1 and 2 free to do the two consoles glitch, so that's why. So as soon as you have it saved right here, we're going over to the outfit on slot number 4. So for this, you want to go back into the tops, go into the leather jackets and put on the blue cropped biker. And underneath that, you want to put on the white lace bus cheer. Now you want to make sure that you still have the shoes, the pants and the gloves on. And this time we're going to be adding a pair of earrings which will be the black and white deco earrings. Now this will be outfit number 4 and just save it on slot number 4. Now this will be outfit number 2 and just save it on slot number 4. So now basically our component outfits are done and you are ready to transfer them over from this point. So if you do not know how to transfer, like I said, the video will be linked in the description box down below. If you're following that video, you can just continue with that and just um, finish off this glitch. So all that you have to do basically is just buy any type of ammo, then just kill yourself in game. And as soon as you load back in, you want to reapply the outfit that you have on. And then you can go into creator, test your race, delete your character whatsoever. 
So I'm quickly transferring these components over and then I'll see you guys back in a second. All right, so I'm back here on the meal character and my components have successfully transferred over. So you should have your two outfits set on slot number three and four in your meal save it outfits list. So now we're going to be doing the two consoles glitch. We only have to do it one time and then after that we have to merge one time and then our outfit is done. So the preparations for the two consoles glitch is you need to have the purple joggers and the purple helmet. You can add the purple helmet later on to the outfit. So you can get this outfit with the safe adversary mode glitch. You just simply want to launch up the job called um, collection time and just invite a different player and then just save your purple joggers. And you just want to save that on slot number five. So then you need to also have a purple color jersey. And you can get this jersey by the job called in inch by inch, which is also a adversary mode. So you can use the same methods to just save your purple jersey. All right, so you just want to save your purple jersey on slot number one. And then you want to grab your purple joggers outfit. And you want to make your way over to a clothes store, go to the top section, go into the racing jerseys and put on the poison motocross racing jersey. Now I suggest you to take off the helmet and then you want to save this on slot number two. It doesn't matter what shoes it will be because they will be changed by the components. So you should now have your purple jersey saved on slot number one and you should have your purple joggers and your racing jersey saved on slot number two. So now we can start with the two consoles glitch. So as you can see in the top left screen we are on console number one right now. So this is to show you guys on which console we are so you know exactly what we're doing. So you want to put on your joggers outfit, then go into the accessories and just throw on a Krampus mask. And then you also want to throw on a parachute. If you do not have the Krampus mask, there will be a link in the description box down below how to get Krampus mask made by a good friend of me named I'm Roberts. So his glitch should still be working. So if you put on um, the Krampus mask and the um, parachute, you should see a yellow save icon in the bottom right corner. Do not proceed with the glitch. As soon as you've seen the yellow save icon, then you can continue with the glitch. So here I got the yellow save icon and as soon as you've seen it, you want to press pause, go to the online tab and just load fully into creator. Now, as soon as you are fully loaded inside of the creator menu, then you want to hover over join GTA online. And now you can tell your friend to log into your account or you can log into your second console. So right here, we are loaded into console number two. And all that you have to do is load up GTA 5 and go to an invite only session. Now, if you're doing this together with a friend, your friend has to follow these steps. So as soon as you load into the invite only session, you will still be wearing the same outfit with the Krampus mask and everything on. All that you or your friend has to do is just open up the interaction menu, go over the style and just swap the outfit to the jersey outfit. Then again, your friend wants to put on the Krampus mask and the parachute to trigger a yellow save icon. Now, as soon as the yellow save icon has popped up, then your friend is basically done. He doesn't need um, to do anything further in this glitch. So your friend can just simply go back over to story modes, close the application and just log out of your account. So we're now back on console number one. And if you click back to the GTA 5 application, you should still be on the creator mode screen. So all that you have to do is click exit to GTA Online and wait until you load into a session. Now, as soon as you are fully loaded into the session, you should still be wearing your first outfit with the joggers and the Krampus mask. So all that you have to do from this point is just take off the Krampus mask and also take off the parachute. So this will trigger another yellow save icon and now you are basically done with the glitch. All, you have, all that you have to do is we are still on console number one. Just go back into story mode and then just close the application. Then you just simply want to relaunch GTA 5 and just go back to a public session. Now, as soon as you load back into the public session, you should see that you are wearing the purple jersey together with the purple joggers and the race gloves. So now you can remove outfit slot number one and number two. 
and you can just save this outfit on slot number one or slot number two it's up to you so now we're going to be merging this jersey jogger and gloves combination together with slot number um, three and four or transfer it outfit slots with the bow tie and the black fest shirt and then our outfit is fully done so to merge you just want to leave this outfit on that we have just created then you want to press pause go to the online tab go to jobs go to play job rucksack created go into verses and from here you want to launch up the job called crooked cop all that you have to do inside of this job is set clothing over to player own it then you want to hit confirm settings and just invite a random player and just launch up the job now as soon as your job is fully launched up you will be at the screen right here just hit once to the right nothing should change go once to the right again to add the yellow bow tie and then go once to the right again to add the black fat shirt and boom there you go this is what it looks like and i think it looks very nice on my male character so to seal the deal you want to hit ready to play and as soon as you load into the job open up the interaction menu go to style go to accessories and just put on a rebreather or a earpiece then you want to just simply put the gun away pull up the phone and just quit the mission now as soon as you load back into a gta 5 online session you can just now make your way over to the nearest clothes store and just save up your outfits so this is my instagram picture that you're seeing right here what i did is i added a um, purple bulletproof helmet or like the purple helmet that was on our outfits using the car glitch i put on some yellow contacts a different face paint and um yeah then my outfit is basically done and for the thumbnail i added a black duffel bag to so just spice up the outfit a bit so this was the tutorial on this super cool purple and yellow modded outfits i hope you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like subscribe to the channel of game time life and turn on post notifications to get informed with the latest uploads and i hope to see you back in the next video here on the channel bye everyone